Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, guys. Um, today I'm going to show you my password system. It has um, some cool stuff, some different stuff that maybe you don't know about. Uh, people have been asking me to to, to post uh, such a password system, but I never did it before because I thought that I had nothing to add to this type of system, but now I think I have something a little different. Like, let me show you. This is our secret room, this is the panel logic, and uh, the signals go here. So what you see here is this uh, dark wood line, which is an end gate directly connected to your output. This light wood is the reset line, and those are the digit recognizers. I mean, they really recognize a single digit. Like this uh, would recognize a two, a three, and a one. It's if you want to set a new digit, just put the items here and uh, the password will be one more than what you see here. There is uh, one exception and I will show you uh, what you do to fix that. Also, uh, maybe you could hear that when you reset the, the, that line, the droppers will click and people could tell what the reset button is. And also, this is not order sensitive. In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix everything and have the almost perfect system for passwords in your maps. Uh, first thing that I, I want to show is the digit recognize itself. It's like this. You have to use w either this or that. Uh, so let me show. For example, if, if you want to set your password to, to 3, let's say 3, you put 2 here, one less. All right, so this line will always stay on unless you put three inside here, and it turns off. Uh, if you put one item less, the signal strength will be too weak, so this torch will have the line powered. And if you put too many items inside, the signal will be too strong and the line will be powered again. So this is the principle, and here what happens is that maybe uh, sometimes you have to weaken the signal twice, and this is uh, the, uh, what you have to use to know what to do. So here I have the output, the signal output level strength for every digit in the game uh, that you can use with my machine. So as you can see, it always will output a level two signal whenever the 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 input is right, except for the digits 3, 5 and 7. So if you want to use 3, 5 or 7, use this shorter one and otherwise you have this other one that is one block longer. Alright, so now you, you see that it's very easy to change your password and let's show you how to make it silent and order sensitive. So what you have here is a system that will accomplish that. Uh, how? The trick I use here is that I, I make a system that will leave always at least uh, it will one item inside the dropper because it cannot it, it cannot flow. It's full already, and droppers will click only when they are empty. So here, the same principle applies. We can fill this in, and the the way I solved the, the last problem is by chaining them together, like your first input goes here and your second input goes here, but it's ignored since this block is not in place. You have to get the first digit right, so it will place the block in the right place for the second digit and you can keep going, keep going. And your reset line can be set up here, let's try it, I don't know if the sound will work, but it's silent. This, is, this should be the reset line. So what, one drawback of this design is that since you have to leave one item here, and this item must be a non-stackable one, I forgot to say, uh, is that you lose the, the first digit, so your password should be from 2 to 9. Okay, the 1 is not allowed, so the password for this should be 2, and the second digit should be 3. So let's try it. Reset. It's 
two now because it has already one. Okay, so now the piston is in place and we can input three. Okay, so the last line is off. The password is three, it had already one. And you could take your output out from here. So that's it guys. If if you want to have this kind of system, it's uh, you can have as an advantage uh, a very small panel that people will think that they only have to find the correct order but in fact they need to find the right digit in the right order if you so make it and I will, I will try to improve on this this is my first try on password locking combination locking or whatever it's called and if I have any further updates, I will let you know. I hope you like this idea. And if you like it enough to hit that button, I would be very happy. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Is that uh, explosive or when fed back into itself, will become a T-flip-flop.